right what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to uh the gro oh my god great great war no glorious battle the glorious battle the glorious battle bro i'm running out of name ideas guys um <laughs> anyways we're playing some alarak today we're joined here by uh sergeant sprinkles who is playing zagara Ooh, spicy so brahmat fires we got we got a <clears throat> got some hybrid destroyers here um uh, we got some 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 of our favorite Terran mercenaries. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Marines. Uh, this like uh, Marines actually suit Alarak so nicely. And we also have Bountiful, which gives us double income on our refineries. So you want to have that thing on autocast. Um, hey, it's Abathur. Hey, it's Tukov. Hey, it's I don't know who I'm actually up against. That guy didn't put down anything. All right, well they know they're up against Alarak, so we'll see. Um, but Marines with Havocs are actually the ideal combo. Havocs increase marine damage output and their range. Two things marines lack. Um, yeah, they just make up for the weaknesses. Uh, I'm probably gonna arrange it in like a like a V formation, some sort of deep V formation or something like that. And then uh, we're gonna bring it, boys. We're gonna bring it. All right. Um, probably shouldn't spend too much money though. I'm trying to I'm trying to get that get that gas. <clears throat> there we go. Oh man, I really thought like I was gonna like pass out or something during the run because of the because of the post COVID. Um, but uh, turns out uh, I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I had a little 10k run. That was, a, that was a pleasant surprise. Hey, it's Stukov. Oh shoot, I don't have detection. Oh no, I do have detection. Ayo, tier one detection. What's up, baby? No, 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 come back, come back. You have it. Stop. Oh my god. Tier one, but still tier one detection. What's up, baby? Oh my god. Yeah, so, so Marines and Wrathwalkers uh, complement each other really nicely because Marines attack super fast and they deal with all the small units and the Wrathwalkers deal with all the big units. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great time. There we go. There we go. Who wants some? Oh man. Oh wait, that's a Marine moving. So I'm trying, I'm trying to move the Havoc here. Ah, maybe that's like a good position. But yeah. Oh, oh, everybody's got Banshees now. Oh, yikes! Okay, I need I need I need the Wrathwalkers ASAP. Uh, it's not like the worst position, but I also need that tier two ASAP so that we can uh, detect weakness nicely. Come on, Alarak! Hold in, hang in there, Alarak! Oh, my havocs! Actually, no, the Marines are these things are super tough, eh? I need a uh, I need I need that tier three, but I also need to greed gas. That thing just passed out, as in like it timed out. Oh my god! Uh, here we go. Okay. Um, I need some chicken nuggets here. I'll put that one chicken nugget here. Uh, I gotta make the havoc invisible. I gotta probably put down a havoc in the center as well. Because the havoc on the side is uh, mm, he's not he's not doing it. He's not doing it right. Um, I guess he just kind of passes through. I mean, it's not his fault. It's just, it's just the way the AI is coded. Just keep moving. Um, there we go. Make that invisibility. Ah, uh, energy shaping. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll get energy shaping. We'll see here. Come on, Marines, kill him. There we go. I'm not gonna use a wasteful skin here if I can if I can help it. There we go. Uh, energy shaping was definitely required there. It was definitely required there. Chicken nugget about to go down. Uh, there we go, Marines. Get in there. Oh, Alarak, charge him. There we go. Oh no, my Havoc's under attack. There we go, he's gonna destroy him. Oh, damn. All right. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, one Scourge coming in there. All right, I just, I just need my Wrathwalkers start coming in and then we'll scale and then we'll be fine. We just gotta scale. We, we haven't scaled yet. We haven't scaled yet. Ooh, there we go. It's only four minutes in. The Banshee's threat is only a temporary. Oh, did we lose a guy? Oh, maybe we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we must have lost a guy on the loading screen, so it's a 2v3. Interesting, because I was like, there's so many Banshees coming out here. Like, why are there so many Banshees? Anyways, unfortunately for him. Get that Bloodshot Resonance. Should I get Bloodshot Resonance? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. I don't want it anyways. Get the Wrathwalker here. Get the Rapid Power Cycling. Probably don't want this aerial tracking as well. Alarak here. Ooh, empower me. I didn't get the knockback though. Get him, boys. 
Get that cannon, boys. For the High Lord. Anyways. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna sell this guy. Put him back just for cosmetic reasons. Yeah, your first rack blockers are like the charge blast is always great out when you level it up. So, yeah. Don't worry, it's just cosmetic, guys. It doesn't actually do anything. Um, but I'm just. I'm just like, uh, gotta make it look nice. Anyways, um, <clears throat> can I get a second one? I remember when Wrath Rockers used to be 360 or something like that. Those were the good old days. There we go. Reagree, agree right? Wrath Rockers being 360 was totally overpowered. Still, apparently. Um, but yeah. There we go. Wrath Rockers are actually kind of bad into these locusts. Hmm. Well, that's what the Marines are here for. They'll power through and kill everything, hopefully. Power through and kill everything, hopefully. Power through and kill everything, hopefully. We're getting vanguards. We are gonna need a boatload of vanguards. Well, at least the Wrathbok is two shots of banshees. Um, so we got that going for us. Oh my god. I think Zagara can breach the uh, can breach the stack nicely, so it's not like the end of the day. It's not end of days. Uh, Come on, Rathhawker. There we go. Kill those things. Kill that queen. I'm just gonna rely on my old. I'm, I'm just gonna build some Rathhawkers for now. I, I think. I think uh, we'll we'll deal with the consequences our, of our decisions in a in a, in a in a in a few waves. And you guys skip forward in the video, and it's just me drowning in the locust. Uh, and then I'll be like, well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my actions finally catching up to me. <clears throat> Get in there, boys! Blow them up! <clears throat> Fight like hell! There we go. I, I believe in the power of Marines. The Marines are, are they're so strong. They're so strong. They're so strong. You guys are so strong. Let's go, boys. It's like, it's like what happens at that when you, when you go to, whenever you go to a run, I love the fact that there's always these people cheering you on because you're just like, yeah, boys, you guys can do it. You know, it really like banishes any doubt and stuff. Yeah, that's what the Marines... I'm, I'm cheering on those Marines, boys. You guys are so strong. You're the strongest unit ever. It's actually true. Marines, strongest unit ever. Uh, <clears throat> oh, man. Ooh. We gotta defeat this giant horde of units here. Come on. Power through. We don't need vanguards when we got Marines. Marines are the vanguard. Let's go, boys. We love up our, love up our weapons here. Oh, man. Wrathwalkers are shooting these things forever. Uh, good and bad, I guess. Ooh, we're gonna time out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, actually, Diamondbacks are taking out, taking out some of the Liberators. Liberators don't stand a chance against Wrathwalkers. I know that for sure. Uh, oh, come on, Marines. Power through. Marines, power through. Marines, power through. Let's go, boys. Strongest unit in the game. Let's go. <clears throat> Every time the Mercs come around, like the Terran Mercs come around, like Marines are honestly like my favorite unit for Alarak. They're, they're like a secret OP unit. You think like, oh, you know, like buy tanks, oh, you know, buy banshees? Nah, nah. Marines, secret OP. They complement everything I like to do in Alarak. Because I like to build Wrathbockers and stuff, so it's like, Wrathbockers are kind of bad against like large amounts of small units. And these Marines are tanky enough that like uh, they can take some hits and uh, they can deal with large amounts of small units pretty nicely. The only sad part is, uh, you don't get to see as much of them because we went in the game so fast. Uh, <clears throat> anyways. Oh, a hybrid are coming out here. That's a desperate last uh, attempt to uh, cling on to life here. Um, it may or may not work, actually. It might, might, might work. How's, uh, how's Alex empower me? That's eh, okay. He's only got one chicken nugget. He's on a diet right now. He's on a diet strictly of the souls of his enemies. So yeah, anyways, we do 10 damage here. The Havoc's increased damage output by 30%, so these Marines actually do 13 damage per shot. So it's actually pretty uh, innocuous. Oh, there's a there's a hybrid dominator setting out Yamato Glass. <clears throat> if we send out if we send out hybrid, it is most definitely gonna end the game. I kind of don't want to end the game just yet. Just yet. We'll, we'll we'll hold out. We'll hold out for like uh, some more behemoths or something. <clears throat> There we go, get some more Wrathwalkers on the field. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. <coughs> this guy has so many Locusts. I think he's going Locusts because he is spawning like quite often. So like, that's his Gambit. His Gambit is that we won't be able to clear Locusts in time. But we do have tanks uh, from Stukov here. That are most certainly going to be able to do a lot of damage. 
Uh, Alarak on that empower me. Boom! Uh, that was a kind of a terrible knockback. Oh well. Whatever, it's fine. He's a... The Marines are killing stuff so quickly. Like, the Alarak's just life-stealing. He's just life-stealing. There we go. Look at that. Who needs vanguards, boys? Marine Wrathwalker? The combo. It's the combo. So beautiful. Classic. Alarak should just be able to buy Marines all the time. <laughs> Replace chicken nuggets and then, uh, with Marines. Uh, and then we'll be fine. Oh man. There we go, let's rock. Let's get another one here. And the good thing is Alarak himself serves as a, as a pretty good meat shield for the, for the Marines as well. Because usually Marines are very vulnerable to not having enough frontline. And Alarak's technically an infinite frontline provided things die. And Marines are really good at making things die. So are the Wrathblockers too, so it's like... Beautiful combo. Beautiful, beautiful combo. Oh, let's get let's get max weapons here. Uh, I, I don't need defenses. Defenses don't matter. Just attack. Attack! Attack! And yeah, the Liberators get grounded here. They just get chewed to pieces by the Marines. And then the Marines are just gonna laugh. That's it, boys. We didn't even need to use hybrid this round. We did not even need to use hybrid. Oh man. Then again, Avatar went for some very strange uh, choice. I mean, I don't know, I guess. Stukov didn't really have any ground presence at all. So, that was a bit of a meme here. Damage output. Oh man, I'm actually surprised that our Stukov got so close. Actually, no, he had tanks. He had tanks. They were consistent damage output. Wow! What? <clears throat> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that mineral value difference. But yeah, uh, go try out Alarak with Marines. It is very good. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires! Need a light. They picked the wrong fight.